Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel Lumen Moon Tarot. So everybody, I'm here seeing what spirit wants you to know, okay? This reading is for the collective, so it may not resonate with all of you and that's okay. Just take what resonates and leave the rest behind, okay? And thank you so much everyone for all of your support. I love you guys so, so much, man. Thank you. Um, I wanted to let you know, too, that we are having a Christmas giveaway this year. Yes, a Christmas time one. And as usual, the Valentine's giveaway as well. So the decks are on their way. They're, well, they're starting to trickle in already. I think I've got two more that are coming. And then I'm going to show you all the decks and give you all the details. Okay, all you have to do is be a subscriber. Tell me which deck you want. That's it. <laughs> So anyway, thank you so much, everyone, for everything. Um, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, Spirit, what do you have for my beautiful collective? What are these? Making You're making a choice, okay? And I feel like you're being divinely led. I'm getting that um, you're making a choice when it comes to love. Um, new doors are opening. You can either... Um, and I feel like one door is kind of stagnant, maybe. The other door, you're being shown two paths. Which way do you want to go? All right. I feel like you're leaving something behind here, changing, making a big change with a five, possibly very quickly as well. But you're going to be choosing the right path with a three. Okay. I'm looking at the numbers. <laughs> Um, you could be an air sign, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on Gemini. You could be um, a water sign, Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. Into the unknown. Um, yeah, you're going to be going boldly where you've never gone before, okay? Um, and I'm getting that you're a diamond in the rough. The movie, they're showing me a movie scene from Aladdin. That's the movie it's called. And in the beginning of the movie, there's this like big giant mountain. It looks similar to this. Um, bring me only the diamond in the rough, right? And I feel like you're going through some kind of change as well. So maybe you're getting some heavy downloads, um, heightened abilities, right? Or being shown which path to take. I feel like um, because you're blindfolded here and you're using your intuition you're allowing the divine to guide you you may not know where it is that they're leading you you may not know what's in store for you in the future but you're walking in faith here here's that little bird right there chirping the messages to you right telling you which way to go and i feel like um you're also going through a change at the same time so i'm getting the sense like and you really are standing here like what do i do now right <laughs> look which way do i go you know um so they're they're leading you on a, possibly a new path but at the same time they're um you're going through some kind of transformation here they're um heightening your abilities or um maybe it's something that uh, it feels like It feels like your body is changing, like maybe you're regenerating, okay? Um, if you've been sick or had a health problem, for someone here, you're, um, you're healing now. You know, you could be healing from being sick. You could be changing the way you look. You're, um, you're being leveled up. You're being upgraded by spirit, okay? Because I feel like spirit's in you, around you. You may feel... Um, like cold energy around you. That's your ancestors, passed on loved ones. Okay, you may feel like sometimes I feel spirit either putting their hands on my, like on my arms or on my shoulders. You could be feeling that as well. I just heard acupunct acupuncture, so somebody could go in, be doing acupuncture right now. Maybe you've got some pain in your neck or your shoulders. Okay, that's for someone, not all of you. It could just be a confirmation for you, right? But you're going through some kind of physical change and some kind of um, spiritual change, okay? Spirit could be working on maybe your heart chakra right now as well, okay? Opening you up to new possibilities in love, um, um, 
helping you to be enthusiastic about things that are coming in the future, even though you don't know what's coming. Okay. I feel like you're the diamond in the rough, but spirit is polishing you right now. That's the feeling that I'm getting. You may have been in the rough, but now you're being polished. So spirit is like, I don't know. It feels like putting some final touches on you or something. You know what I mean? You could be getting touched by spirit. You could be um, getting a lot of like your hair raising on your arms or spirit playing in your hair. That happened to me once. I was taking a shower and I was washing my hair and I like, I have really long hair. So I was lifting up my hair and it felt like there was a hand already like massaging the back of my head kind of freaked me out so you may be freaked out about that um but uh, most of you i mean maybe at times you're freaked out but you know who it is around you those are your guides those are your ancestors and i feel like they're giving you nothing but love the fact that they're upgrading you right now in in so many different ways is telling me that um it's almost like they're rewarding you or congratulating you also for making it through a difficult cycle. It tells me that you've passed your tests, you've passed judgment, and they're preparing you for bigger things in the future, okay? Um, I keep telling people, they're, look, Divine's got you. They're going to give you everything you need um, to start this new cycle. And I feel like that's what they're doing here but it has something to do with by actual physical body changes in you and um heightened abilities as well okay they could even be giving you some abundance here but yes you are the diamond in the rough but now is when you get polished okay and I feel like because of that, you're going to shine. That means that um, it's your time to shine, okay? Spirit's given you all that you need. And, um, yeah, there's something about you that's. it just feels almost like you're being perfected. Yeah, look at this. Um, uh, heightened abilities, more spiritual knowledge. Um, you've got a lot of downloads coming to you. This may make you feel dizzy, okay? Um, let's talk about the symptoms you may be having from this because this feels like ascension symptoms to me. You're ascending, you're, up, you're being upgraded, so you're going to have some physical things happening to you. Um, I feel like one of them could be dizziness, possibly even some fatigue. Um, it could even make you feel a bit confused, okay? I feel like um, you're going to be... I, for some reason, I see you looking in the mirror and your looks are starting to change. Some of you are getting some kind of marking on your forehead, too. They're showing me somebody with like a little patch of four, uh, forehead freckles or something. <laughs> and I've gotten that in a reading before, and I feel like it has something to do with like a star sign or something like that. It's some kind of marking. Um You know, this could be happening with every sign, too, okay? And I'm seeing this, they're showing me the movie scene from Stargate, where the person finally figures out how to open the Stargate. I forget his name now. I forget his name. Anyway, um, yeah, he figures out how to open the Stargate, and a whole new portal is opened. And I feel like you're being given a lot of hidden knowledge straight from the 5d okay it's gonna help you open more doors in the future you could have a lot of options around you opening up coming to you right now you could be um, in a lot of thought as to um, what to reach out for what to put in your your effort into right you could be a virgo as well virgo Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, heavy on Gemini, or Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio. You're going to be able, see, now I'm seeing things like high winds, okay? 
high winds here. You could be having some um, predictions, premonitions about things in nature, stuff that's going to happen with the weather. I've been noticing that as well. Um, I'm feeling like a major storm is about to hit. Um, you can see it coming. And I feel like you're being very protected, okay? Because you've got a rainbow in your picture, but there you can maybe sense people are about to get their karma. Okay, you can you can feel that something is coming, but maybe you're not quite sure what it is. Like, look at the look on your face and what is that, right? Um, this is happening. These visions and premonitions are coming to you because of the heightened abilities that you're getting. Okay. So you could be very in touch with nature and just feel the vibes. Um, I'm seeing high winds. I'm seeing flooding. Okay, I can see this as, as wind or water, waves of water. And I feel like you've picked up on that too. I've been um, getting premonitions of something, someplace flooding out now for like the last week. Or there could be some kind of destruction from some tornadoes. Weird weather activity happening maybe in the month of December. Okay. And I feel like you've already been led to safety. If this is your enemies getting karma, because this could be a karmic storm as well, um, you're already being led away from that karmic storm. So like I said, I feel like you're protected by the divine with a four here. I feel like you're... Um, premonitions and predictions are spot on because we have a three and that always tells me that you're on the right track okay you're on the right path spirit could be like changing your mind about something as well um because i see you kind of like having this this path but then it gets broken because um they and they change your path a little bit to keep you safe okay that happened to me before as well like i was planning on moving to hawaii and um and everything just seemed kind of set right and then spirit said no nope, we're not going to do that anymore and you know when spirit is leading you like for me personally i don't question it okay i just do what they say all right um but they led me in a different direction after we had made plans together, and then as soon as they did that, um, and I changed, you know, my course, um, Hawaii got, I don't know, I don't remember what happened with Hawaii, wasn't it? Um, possibly the, I don't know. I'm seeing, but yeah, smoke, fires maybe. But yeah, it's to keep you safe, and big shout out to Hawaii, man, I'm going there. I just don't know when. <laughs> when I get there, I'll let you guys know. We can all meet up, okay? <laughs> but yeah, I feel like so spirit may veer you off in a different direction. Just listen to your intuition, okay? If they do, it's to keep you safe, all right? I feel like you're also going to be um, getting a new creative spark, Um so you're also going to be starting a new project in the future. I feel like it's going to make you very abundant. It's going to be something that you love to do. It could have something to do with music. Um, you could be a violinist. You could play the guitar, some kind of string in instrument. Um, but I feel like you're going to kind of mix that with something else. They're showing me another movie scene. You guys, I'm getting a lot of downloads for you. It's a movie called Candy Cane Lane with Eddie Murphy. Big shout out to Eddie Murphy. I love, love, love you. Um, but yeah, the, in the movie, he's got a son that plays the tuba. And this kid is so talented behind the scenes. He's like mixing his own music. You could be working with music, be a musician, but you're going to end up doing something different. Okay, I feel like um, for some of you, you're, um, you're a leader when it comes to that. You're a trailblazer. So I feel like, I guess I'm just seeing this trail. 
Um, you're a trailblazer. So whatever new creative project you have, I feel like it's going to be like nothing like anybody else has. Okay. It's going to be different from everything. And I feel like people are going to love it. I'm already getting the chills up both my arms, you guys. <laughs> um, so yeah, that could be for someone. You're about to start a new creative project. New creative ideas are coming towards you. Um, and people are really going to dig it. Okay. <laughs> They're going to eat that up. Yeah. I feel like, um, you're also maybe, you know, this is cleaning house. Maybe you're, I feel like your house is already clean and maybe you're getting rid of clutter. Um, decluttering is not just going to help the space in your home, but it's going to help your mind as well. Maybe that's what you're doing. You're decluttering your mind of thoughts and pains and worries from the past okay i feel like um as you walk into the unknown okay um you want to go boldly you want to have full faith in the divine so i feel like spirit wants you to sweep out some old energy you know get rid of the fears get rid of the um the fear the sadness okay because you have to be boldly led into this into this new phase in your life okay this portal that's opening up for you yeah they're showing me stargate um so yeah you're opening up a new timeline for yourself a new portal this is where the new cycle begins they're giving you all the information you need to do this and and step out of the negative energy from the last cycle and release it okay yeah i'm seeing this you see i i feel like you're a magician here you're an alchemist um you have the power to um manifest and think up whatever you want in your future i feel like spirit wants you to focus on that because it really is your time to shine let your emotions and what you feel in your heart and your faith let it guide you okay I feel like you're doing some home cleansings here with the feathers and the smoke. I'm feeling like you're cleansing your aura. You're burning your sage. You know, um, you're getting the negative energy out of your home. Okay. Maybe you've just recently moved and you could be having your home blessed. All right. It could be something like that. When I bought my home, that was the first thing I did. I did the, oh my gosh, it was the most intense home cleansing I had ever done. You know, I feel like you just want everything clean. You want to start with a clean slate. Okay. Give me one more for the collective. Yep, wide open for new things. I'm telling you, not only that, but I feel like your mind is open. Your um, crown chakra is open. You're, del you're um, receiving a lot of messages from the divine right now, okay? Going through some ascension symptoms, but you are ready. You're ready for new things. I see that spirit has put you up on a platform, okay? Um, put you up on a pedestal. So you could be in the public eye, uh, noticed by a lot of other people, okay? And I feel like, um, yeah, you're going through a lot of changes right now. You may not be fully aware of it, but you are. Um, and you're going you're gonna to come out of this kind of um, metamorphosis energy feeling much stronger, much um, cl like clear-minded, right? Um, much lighter, uh, possibly healed, very um, intuitive, new spiritual abilities. I mean, there's a lot that's happening with you right now. <laughs> I don't even know what to call this. Um, but yeah, you are the diamond in the rough and, it's, and spirit is polishing you, getting you ready for all the new stuff that's coming in, okay? I feel like they're also um, replenishing your, your finances, your abundance here, because I see you on a very solid platform, okay? A solid, stable foundation. So, actually, I want your advice. 
Yeah. Or whatever spirit wants you to know. Let's get more oracles for you. Ooh, yep. Clearing things out, cleaning out the clutter, right? Getting rid of what no longer um, serves you, what no longer is for you. Things that remind you of the past, items. Um, you're clearing those out too, clearing out the energy. You're doing a lot of cleansing right now to, in preparation for what's coming. Yeah, all of these downloads, you're getting downloads in your sleep. This is um, having some pretty intense dreams. Spirit giving you the information that you need. Okay. Um, yeah. And it's, I feel like it's your time. It's your time to shine. You could be packing to move because I do see somebody possibly making a location change here. feel like these changes are coming in really fast. They keep showing me that um, that uh, clock on the bottom of the deck. Yeah, they're like, let's go. Let's go. We're going to bless you. We're going to give you all you need to start this new life for yourself. Um, yeah, it's. I feel like it's time to go. Okay, new things are opening up for you. Um, masks are coming off of your enemies so that you're, uh, you're at the same time, you're also seeing who's been real with you and who hasn't. Spirit's been showing you this, maybe through your dreams or any, you know, any other way that you get messages from them, right? I usually, they, sh they'll show me a movie scene or they'll put a song in my head. So you could, you could, um, have that kind of energy like I do. Yeah, you're manifesting here. And they're like, you know what? Here's the thing. We're going to give you, we're going to give you whatever you need. Um, we're going to bless you. We're going to give you some wish fulfillment here. All you have to do is release the things from the past so that you can move forward, right? Yep. Releasing the past, letting it go, and moving forward into a whole new cycle. And you know what? You're between worlds right now. That veil's very thin. I'm telling you, Collective, they're working on you behind the scenes. So you may not know it. You may not realize it. But especially if you're having, like, ascension symptoms, okay? You could be getting headaches. Um, your neck could maybe hurt. You could be tired. You could be um, a little bit dizzy. Okay, those could be ascension, ascension symptoms. But I mean, feel definitely go to the doctor. Okay, if you feel like you have to, right? Go to the doctor. Um, but yeah, I feel like um, you're in between worlds with one foot on the on the three D, one foot on the five D. And I feel like with how you're the diamond in the rough and they're polishing you up, you've passed all your tests, you're moving forward, you could be a light worker, a divine being, okay, because you've got a crown on your head here. Just start, and I, I'm hearing dream big, okay? So whatever you're trying to manifest in your life, um, only number one, do it with positive thoughts, right? Only focus on the things that you really want in your future and just, you know, really truly focus on them, right? Manifest those in. But Spirit's telling you to dream big, okay? Because you are crowned and um, I feel like they, they really want to bless you here. Where is that? Oh, here it is. They really want to bless you, okay? Um, and you also could have a new soulmate connection coming in as well for someone. There's a lot that's going on with you, Collective For Real, I, uh, and it's all very important. <laughs> so I don't even know what to title this. Um, I, may, I might even make you guys title this one, okay? <laughs> but anyway, um, I do hope this helps. I hope it resonates. Don't forget to do your home cleansings. I feel like that's important in this, okay? Um, and if you don't know how to do one, I'm, there's lots of videos out there on how to do a home cleansing, okay? Anyway, collective, don't forget to like and subscribe to this channel. If you like this vibe, join this awesome soul tribe, you guys. We're the best out here, I think. 
Anyway, until next time, my darlings, take care of you and peace out.